What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new to my channel, my name is Josh Trihane. Uh, I wanted to just film today because Tessa and I are going on a little road trip to a place called Shushwap, which is about 300 kilometers away from here. And this is gonna be the longest trip that I've done in the, uh, the Tesla so far. So I just kind of wanted to record it and just like film going to the superchargers and doing all of that. So we're bringing uh, Rick over to Tessa's mom's place. So he's in the back of the car right now. We got one of these like little hammock things that Rick can sleep like stay in. So he's in the hammock right now, catches all of his hair and all the water that's on him if there is any. But yeah, so I just loaded the car up and surprisingly everything fits in it very well. Like I have all of my stuff that I'm bringing for the next four days in the front of the car and then all of Tessa's stuff is in the back. But uh, yeah, so it's gonna take around four hours to drive up there. We're picking up one more other person and then, uh, and then that should be it. So I will try to film as much as I can and show you guys like autopilot and all that stuff when we're on the highway. But yeah, just waiting for Tessa. She's at Starbucks right now. Should be coming out in a sec. Hey, you like it back there? Got lots of room? Yeah? <laughs> he usually just sleeps when he's in the car. But as you guys can see right here on the screen, uh, this is where our first supercharger is. I didn't charge my car fully last night, so I have 247 kilometers and uh, and it says that when we get to the supercharger, we're gonna have 20% left, so. That's where we have to go first, and then the second supercharger is right here, third one is right here, and then we're going somewhere up in here. <laughs> Looking at the superchargers right now on the Tesla, and it says that there's only one spot available when we get to Hope. They're, they're gonna be so busy, babe. Yeah. This is why you should have at least tried to charge it fully. Oh, all those are available. Yeah, right now. So Even Hope has hour. one available right now, and then the next place that we have to stop, they're basically all free, but... It says that we're gonna get there on 20%, like, we're gonna have 20% when we get there, which kind of freaks me out. Because I know when we did our last trip, it, like, took 20% um, more battery than it said it would when we were going, so we're gonna just have to drive pretty conservative. The old star. Alright, Rick, we're dropping you off. It's time to get out. Come on, can you jump off? Oh, do you hear Mila? Come on, oh, good boy. Oh, who's that? Yeah, come on, come, come on, on. on, let's go. Oh, who's that, Rick? Who's that? Have you Bye, guys Rick. Have fun. Is the gate still open? Oh, no. Uh, I have to lock it. All right, Rick is gone. Back on the road. <laughs> Get to the I first supercharger. That is not, well, it's not even a choice. And listening to the Dak Shepard podcast, Armchair Expert, it's so good. Listening to the one with uh, Conan O'Brien. This is a pretty, how long are his podcasts usually? They're pretty long. They're like anywhere from like an hour 15 to just over two hours. I've been listening to it the whole time. But yeah, we're just about to get to the supercharger. And we have 23% left. So at the charging percent actually went up. Oh, and there's four stalls available. Oh, perfect. Cool beans. There it is. I haven't seen it up in Melbourne. It's so pretty. Let's see how fast it says it's going to charge this. Should be pretty quick. We're going to go over to get some food, but I'm actually going to put it all the way up since we're here now. 15 minutes. So we made a stop at Subway and on my phone I was just checking and it says that it says that we're currently at 280 kilometers and there's 40 minutes remaining. So the last 15 minutes that I showed you guys in the car, that was just to continue on our trip. But now to actually get a full battery is gonna take around 40 minutes. So we're just getting some Subway. We just sat down and had something to eat and it says that there's 20 minutes remaining on the uh, supercharger, but 
we definitely don't need as many kilometers are on there right now to get to the next one so going back now and then we're gonna start the drive again but look how beautiful it is around here like these mountains it's crazy and then this is where all the Teslas are just hanging out all right not as many bugs hit the front of the car as I thought there was gonna be but All right, we're all charged back up, 342 kilometers. That's over my usual daily limit that I charge it to, but because we're going all the way to Kamloops, which is up here, it says that we're gonna have 20% again when we get there. So we're going through the battery quite a bit. Are you full? I'm like too full. Yeah? Yeah. Get some cookies, do you have it? We don't really need to be stopping here, but just to be safe, like it says that we'll have 10% when we get there. So it makes sense to fill up a little bit here and then go to Kamloops after. That is a suspiciously nice Burger King. It's brand new. <laughs> and all it the is. people are waiting for the bus. Is that like a factory? Oh. Yeah. I was like, why is everybody it's lined up at brand Burger King? New. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna only charge for five minutes. how long this takes to get up to at least 200 kilometers. This is the problem, they put video games on your car and then you just never want to leave a supercharger. Okay, this will be the last game and then we'll go. Here we go. There should be one more. Oh, damn. the wedding? unplug the charger and we have let me see how much charging we actually did we have uh oh 250 kilometers perfect Charged 100 kilometers like this. pretty surprising pretty good I thought that was a snake. It's not a snake? It's not a snake. It's How a, do you know? It's a piece of duct tape. Oh, it totally is. <laughs> From far away, I was like, babe, you're driving over it. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I know. At first, I thought it was a snake. It really moves like one, I know. <laughs> a little windy. <laughs> All right, we just made it to the next supercharger. This is the last one we're going to charge fully because going to shoe swap right now, there's no um, supercharger up there. So we have, have we have to have enough in order to go from here to there and then back to here. So this is the last stop for tonight. All right. It's pretty nice around here. It's like super windy out right now, but this is a little place called Kamloops. And uh, this is like an hour away from Shushwap, which is where we're going. Look at that big fish. But this is nice, we're the only one here. There's not that much room at Little Red. Like, and also like their couch isn't even a pullout, so like That's where crazy. would six bridesmaids sleep. plus Kira sleep? We are charged up enough, so we're gonna make it over to the cabin and there's a plug right outside the cabin door so we can plug our charger in that we have in the back of the car right here. On the road again. On the road again. I don't know this will just that always remind going. me of band, like band trips. Yeah. Because we'd go, we'd stop in Calumet's for a few nights at that hotel over there. Got one hour until we're there. You said 45 minutes. 45 minutes, well, that's how long it's gonna take us. It says 1022 we'll get there, so if it's any time before 1022 then. All right. All right guys, we made it. We have 152 kilometers left. That's, yeah, that is a lot. But yeah, we just made it. I just plugged my uh, car in from the wall. That's part of the cabin over there. So we're gonna see how long this takes to charge because I've never actually used this uh, charging cable that comes with the car. So I have it attached to a an extension cord 
and it's going into the house. So I don't even know how this works, but it's not charging yet. So I'm gonna have to try to figure this out. All right, I figured it out. I just unplugged it and then plugged it back in and it's charging. So on my phone, it says that it's getting three kilometers an hour. So in the morning, I'll probably have an extra 30 kilometers, which it says in order to charge fully is gonna take over 24 hours which is horrible, but we have enough to get back to the other supercharger, so. So I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're now here for the next like two or three days, so I will try to vlog as much as I can while we're up here, but yeah, just wanted to kind of film the experience of going to all the different superchargers and making our way up here and having to, uh, yeah, go through all that. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, <clears throat> hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys. All right guys, so we're back home, uh, but there was a couple things that happened during our trip home that I wanted to kind of put into the vlog just because there's probably some things that I'm gonna say that will probably never happen to you if you do have a Model 3 um, or a Tesla in general, just an electric car, because when we left the cabin, we had uh, I think it was like a hundred kilometers and it said that to get to where we were going Which was Kamloops. It was gonna take 80 kilometers, but there was a charger um, In chase which is like kind of in between where we were going in Kamloops and the cabin So we thought if we really needed it We would just stop in at chase and charge up a little bit but when we got to chase we were really low on battery and one of the uh, the charger that we we're gonna go charge at didn't actually fit the uh, the Tesla adapter so that we we're freaking out because on our little uh, screen on the Tesla it was telling us that we were gonna get to the supercharger with negative 5 battery so I was freaking out because I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to find a charger along the way home but what ended up happening was we went on to an app called plug share and we basically found uh, a, diff a bunch of different chargers that were scattered around Kamloops and we made it to a grocery store which had a plug-in um, and we had neg or we had a 9% battery left on the car. So we sat there and on my phone I actually got a notification when I parked the car at the charger that said um, if you don't charge your car right now like you're gonna have battery damage and um, like it's basically the car is not gonna work if you don't charge it so so I plugged it in at 9% and then as soon as we left like it said that it was gonna take 8 kilometers to get to the supercharger and at this point I had 20 kilometers on the car so I thought that going there was gonna be totally fine but then what ended up happening was the entire drive going to the supercharger was uphill and so when we were getting off the exit we could see the supercharger which was like just off on the parking lot but as soon as we were getting off the highway the car got to one percent and I was like freaking out because I, <laughs> I was thinking that like if we're gonna take off the exit and then we're gonna run out of battery we're literally gonna have to push the car or get somebody to bring us to that supercharger so we got off with one kilometer left like one percent on the car and, uh, and then we ended up actually making it to the supercharger. So I have a picture, I'll show you guys right here just to prove that what I'm saying, I'm actually like, I'm telling you guys the truth right now. We made it there with one kilometer left. So we, um, we charged up fully and then we made sure that we had enough to get to uh, Merit and then we charged in Merit and then we charged in Hope and then we made it home. But I just thought that I would add this part into the vlog just because I was freaking out the entire time that I was driving up this big hill thinking like, the car is gonna run out of battery, I'm not gonna make it there, but uh, we made it. And the car was driving totally fine on one kilometer and I didn't get any more uh, notifications, but I'm pretty sure that it's not good to be driving on that low of a battery all the time. So now I'm being really good with it and I'm keeping it in between the daily limit. Um, it's just like on trips you usually go through your battery a lot more so I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, vlog and just like the vlog in general over the last couple days uh, I just wanted to kind of show what it's like having to do a road trip in a Tesla and stop at all the superchargers so make sure that if you're going on a trip I would suggest just making sure you have way more battery than what it says you're gonna need I know that sometimes it's like you don't want to sit at the supercharger and <laughs> you just 
you don't you think that you can make it there but it's better to just fully charge or just get way more charge than you need than to risk it um, that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing from now on so yeah if you guys are uh, looking at getting a Tesla and you've wa you've watched some of my videos and it's convinced you to get one or I don't know, maybe you, you're, you're about to order one. Uh, you can use my referral code, which is down below. You guys will get uh, 1500 kilometers of free supercharging uh, and it's completely free. You just have to use the code when you go to buy the Tesla. So if you guys wanna use that, it's in the description. But other than that, I'm sitting at a supercharger right now, making sure that I have lots of battery to get home. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog and hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. All right, bye guys.